G'day, how you going? Are you an Apple here? You're acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to me video. This is a uh, beginner's tutorial how to paint a beautiful sun setting over a lake with some silhouetting business in the middle. Eh? All right, so I've got a canvas there in that size in centimeters and inches, and we'll get some colors going up the screen there for you as well so you can write them down. Oh, just had me coffee. By the way, if you're new here, check out the links in the description below and also me merchandise. Great stuff to knock yourself out with. Now, we're going to set this up in a way so I can blend the sky and the watercolours. Okay, I've got all my colours here. You just saw them going up the screen there. And I'll probably rant and rave about a few of them as we go through the video as well. I've been down to the art store and got some more retarder and more of this stuff. Now, what is this stuff? Well, this is um, flowing white paint. Ooh, I call it flowing white because see it flows out the bottle, but it's, it's just craft paint, student paint, poster paint, stuff like that. And I got it from the art store or you can even find it online or in your $2 shops. All right, and I always like to mix this up with some clear medium retarder. It's the one that looks like baby oil, but it is not baby oil, okay? So come over here and I'll show you closely what we're doing. Now I've got this two inch synthetic flat brush from the hardware store. It's just something I feel comfortable applying the, the main bulk of the paint on the canvas with. You can use a small flat or a big hardware paintbrush. I like these little flat ones, they do the job for me. And we'll get all this crisscrossed into the canvas like so. I'm going to do the whole footprint of the canvas because I'm going to have the water at the same time done. All right, so we've got all this. It looks like crazy business on that canvas at the moment. Now I'm using an artist quality tooth canvas here. And now I've got that on there. I just want to pull it left and right. That way it's beautiful and neat, smooth, look at that. Now I've got my sky colours on here, I've got some uh, Doxine purple and I've got some violet there. I've got a bit of magenta, I've got my Indian yellow and my blue colour. So I'm going to start with the um, Doxine purple and get this in the middle. Now I've just wiped that brush, I haven't cleaned it and there's no retarder in these colours either. It's all in that white stuff on the canvas there. So I want to get a, a band of this right across the middle like that. Don't muck around, just get right into it. There we go, look at that. Too bloody easy. See, I had my brush sideways. Now I'm going to pull it this way and just lightly grade that into the white there, just like that. And maybe a bit down the bottom in the water side as well. There we go. Now I've got to wipe that. Well, actually, I did a bit more than wipe it. I, I, um, I washed it. Now, I'm picking up the violet here, quinacridone violet, and I want to get this right across the top there, just there like that. Maybe a little bit there as well. I'm going to wipe the bulk of that off, the brush. See, I've just wiped it off. And uh, we're going to pick up some of the magenta, a little bit of the magenta there. Get some of that over here somewhere, over there. It's coming up to there. Maybe a little bit there. So I've made a couple of bands there. Now because they're pretty similar in colours, before I add the yellow, I've just wiped that brush and I want to merge those with the purple there, there and here. Merge that there. Beautiful. Now wash that brush and I'm picking up my good old Indian yellow. I like Indian yellow for this. And I want to get this right up there, right here and into this bit of the sky there like that. This is going to make, this is the part, this bit that I'm putting on now. This is the bit that's adding the bullshit. Okay, and we'll get some of this right in the water there like that. Right there like that. Okay, we've got enough of that there. There we go. Oh, see, I've just contaminated that. That's why it's good to watch a video. You know not to do that now. All right. Now I'm going to wipe that brush and then I want to merge that yellow into the, the white there into the sky. So we'll do that. 
and merge it into here, there, there, bring it down, merge that colour, that's just the watercolour down there. Okay, I want to get a bit more of the um, magenta, I'm picking up some of the magenta there, because I want to kind of just get this bit where the blue is going to be, just so it doesn't hit that yellow, because we don't want... Um, green going into our sky so I'll get that just slightly done like that now I've just cleaned that brush and gave it a severe flogging and now I'm picking up some phalo blue we'll do the sky colors first before we do the water just along there like that okay bring some of that down into there it'll make purpley colors and you can pick some of this up now and continue all your water colour. Keeping it lateral, left and right. And the water, it doesn't matter if it picks up some greens because it's it's water. I'm going to pick up, I'm just going to wipe that brush before I do anything. Pick up some more Indian yellow because I want a nice glare of that. Oh, it's turned green, but it doesn't matter because this is water. Now I'm just wiping that brush. I'm going to blend the water, or well, not blend it, I'm just going to stroke it like so. Give it a good firm stroke, just like that. And just pull it left and right until you're happy with the way things are looking. All right, I'm happy with that watercolour, that's fine. Now I've just come back from giving the brush another severe flog and I've cleaned it out from doing that. And I want to get this blue into the white there, there, and then I'm going to start pulling this. That's it. I don't want to contaminate this into those colours over there. Now I'm just going to put white there to really get some intensity there. All right, so I'll grab this white. This is out of the tube, the titanium white. And I want to get this really glared up. Bring it over here a bit if I can. Oh, look at it touch that yellow and kiss that yellow. It's going beautiful. Let's hope I don't destroy it now. And get that nice glare happening there. All oh, beautiful. I'm loving that. I'm very happy with that. Beautiful. Wipe the brush. Do you feel you need a bit of glare in the water? We'll try, just see how it looks. Bit of glare here. It's not really gonna do as nice as it did in the sky, so we'll just leave it at that. I wanna get this here a bit darker, so I'm gonna pick up the, um, just picking up some of the dioxine and get some of that just in this lower corner here a bit darker. And then I'll pick up some blue and smash with it as well, just so we got a, a bit more blue. There we go, just so we've got a darker value of that blue in the corner there. Looked a bit too turquoisey for me, and the water I want darker. There we go, I'm happy with that, happy with that. I'm just looking here, I want this a bit more yellow and brighter. I'll get some of this titanium white and this um, Indian yellow here, and I'll pick that up. And let's hope we can get at least all this very Indian yellow along here, just where the water is, get it to there and pull it through, beautiful. Now I'll pick up that white, pick up the white, turn the lights on in it, oh yes, beautiful. Pull it through there, that's it. Now I'll wipe it because I want too much white, I don't want to tint it up too much. Now we'll pull that through and that's just our water. Beautiful. Do you want clouds in there? If you do, we can do them. I'll put some in there just for the sake of the video. So we'll pick up some titanium white. I'm just going to use a fan brush and work out. We won't put them too crazy. And I don't know, I might put something around here just to hide this brush stroke here. So it's coming from the middle of the painting and I'm just squirreling around it's picking up blue flavors all that flavor there there we go 
grab a blending brush and a rag and I don't know, I always like to give the ones that are higher up in the sky a bit of a bum. Pull it out there a bit, see what it just does. That's quite nice and artistic when it does that. And then blend with turmoil, so you're getting um, brighter values and lighter values. Get some of a bum over here, okay? Keep wiping your brush <clears throat> and we'll blend all that up. Get the tops tickle, tickle the tops here a little bit. There we go, just so you're sitting it down. Got a cloud up there somewhere, so to speak. Uh, um, there we go. Now we'll just give it some yumminess and extra bullshitting flavour for that cloud. So make sure your brush is clean again. Reload it with that white paint and put some yumminess there. So this is going to be vibrant white. See here? And you're going to leave the vibrancy of this there but just sit it down within the cloud. So here, we'll sit it down, and it gives it pretty much a third dimension, so it's not a flat two-dimensional cloud, but kind of, some of sometimes they, they pull out pretty well, and sometimes they turn out, oh, well, it could have been better, but it's just a cloud. There we go, that'll do me for the sky. Beautiful, simple cloud. And, I don't know, um, I might put, actually, I won't, I'll just, Mm, I'm just trying to think what I could put here. I'll get the white, I'll, I'll use some of that white up, and I'm just going to do this. What are you doing that for, Ian? Oh, I was going to add some kind of reflective value in the water there, so I'll just use my blending brush and just pull that through like that. Probably didn't need that there. You see at the end of the painting if you wanted to add this or not. What I'm doing before I dried it, I just started drawing it, but see in where this blue is hitting that bright white area, I'm just getting a soft blending brush or something with a soft but a firm edge. And I'm just kind of sitting down those brush strokes just so it's a more of a beautiful blend. Okay, I'm wiping it as well. There's some brush strokes here. Yeah, I started drying it and it's sort of not letting it blend as well as it normally would, but that's okay, it still looks all right. And is there anything down here that needs no, that's okay. I'll just give it a bit. That's going to be water there. Nice, colourful, weird, sunsetty water. Now I'm going to make use of the colours that are here. So I've got some burnt umber. I want a pretty much a dark colour. So I'm going to use that dioxine purple and that uh, phalo blue and see if we get a dark, get some of that red as well. And we'll get a dark value so it's not just black. We're using all the colours within the painting. And... We'll get some of this. Now I don't want it too brown looking, so we'll use this. So I'm mixing all that up with my flat cat tongue brush. I'll get all that mixed up there. Now I'll give it a little bit of a water tickle, just so as it's gonna move off the brush onto the canvas a lot easier. All right, look at that. I've gone and, that's one thing when you're doing mixing with a brush. You've got to virtually clean it now. There we go, I've cleaned it. If you're using that same brush, so it's not going to be all glubbed up. Now I've dried the canvas and hopefully I've dried it enough because we need to get some kind of horizon line. So from about here all the way across and why I said I hope we dried it enough because all that stuff had retarder under it, um, sometimes it can pull the stuff off and give you grief. So I'm trying to just be a bit artistic. I'm just getting my area in and then I'll detail it better. That looks a bit crazy at the moment, but give it time. Now I'm gonna concentrate on the bottom lip. I wanted a bit more yellow there, but I didn't quite get it. So anyway, so we'll get the bottom lip of our land mass here. Pull it nice and straight if we can. Just a bit of a lip there. All the way along here. All the way along there. 
that's pretty much our water horizon line out there because we're going to have shadows in there as well now I can dry this if it starts pulling that paint off now I want to just get over here some kind of tree activity silhouetted this is sort of browny dark it's not just black it's silhouetted back here just somewhere about there come off the painting there we go see that and we'll probably get some of this as well just jingering up here get some air between some of it that's important makes it look fantastic where are we i've got that flat filbert and it allows me to do umbrella treetop shapes come along here come a bit low there dab it all in and then we'll come along here we can get a group a bit higher up there and these putting these dark colors against that sky gives it a nice artistic fantastic look don't you reckon hey? and we'll come along here and we'll get a bit lower over here but getting some air in this between these canopies so why I just brushed it freely before I got that area where I wanted and then I knew which way to travel across the painting okay you got me when you saw me just squibbling it in in the old way that was to get my direction where I wanted to go now what I want to do I don't just want a flat line there I want to give some sort of sense that everything's coming towards us so I just want to get some I'll start from here a bit wide just some sense of other stuff out there I might use a flat brush for this this one's a bit can you find a flat brush in you yeah, there you go I'm just going to pick up a flat brush just so we can get like I want a bit of a point coming out of here like that I'll darken that up because that's going to be some kind of landmass flavor in the water you'll see what I mean when it the more gets done I'll just put some more water in my paint because it's a bit gluggy and we want to get some coming off here like this keeping all this level like that see I'm I'm coming across the painting but keeping it level coming across the painting jingle jangle it if you want come across the painting level there come across here we'll get a bit more out here more land mass coming out here and then we can cover that in I might have to dry it a bit off camera where are we some of this here fill that in there and have this on its own little bit again coming out there we go so this is kind of it's still silhouetted but it's giving you some kind of three-dimensional shape out there of the the land and everything now I want to put a tree a couple of trees here with their beautiful reflections in there so I'm grabbing a reasonably thick script line I think this is a number six liner brush okay I'm just going to use this for the trunk same color as there we didn't change anything and we'll put a let's go about there give this one a distinct split trunk just like that and then we'll put one maybe and go out a little bit more because I want it higher so it's going to fit in the reflection of the water that's okay and we might put one about here now it's up to you how fat you make these trunks don't worry about the bottom one if it's not as solid like see there I mean this water's pretty still so it probably will be a bit of a solid and then we're gonna get this over there as well something like that <laughs> I hope that's gonna work how's that looking in the monitor not so bad um, now I'm grabbing my flat filbert again I'll, I'll, I'll see how I go with this one but I might have needed a um, 
smaller one as well. I want to put some real scratchy foliage. See how it's got air between it up on these trees here. Get it bulked up here. I don't want it too blobby. I want to have it so it's got air between it. Bring it down to that trunk you just put on. I'll turn the brush around so it's nice and scratchy. Get a nice reasonable tree canopy shape to it all. And we'll, we'll have to join this one onto it. This is a separate tree on its own. We'll come over that lighter area there, which will look great. We'll get rid of, always condition your brush as you load it with paint so you haven't got blobs everywhere. Somewhere there. And something coming out here. It's looking all right, that'll do it there. And then we'll do the same down here. Let's make sure our brush is right. I'll try and go this way if we can, eh? Let's just see, we'll get some kind of reflection in the water there of that. Just like that. See, I've turned the brush around to make up for the, and some of that there. I'm not gonna go too much exact, but something there. Yeah, down a bit. This one can come down a bit there. How's that looking? Now I want a small moon. I've got my round pouncer and I'm just taking my time. I'm just gonna load up a moon crest onto it, okay? So just load up your moon crest. Roughly about there. I'm just using that craft paint because it's a lot looser and softer. Hopefully this will work. And work out where you want your moon crest. I might have it about here. I'm just hoping it's not too dark. But if it is, where are we about there? A little bit of a turn. Beautiful, subtle moon in the sky. And now, because it's water, I've got the water and some of that craft paint. I want to put some, just some light flickering over that lake. Because to me it's a lake. And it needs a bit of... um flickering onto it okay so I'm just loading up this toothbrush from about here this is just like flickering onto the water there if it went in if it goes into that um, brown a bit that's okay I can paint it out okay Oh, easy tiger, easy, easy. There we go, a bit of, bit of stuff flickering on the water there. Yeah, I'll, I'll paint it out of there, that way it'll look nice. Maybe just a little bit more condensed all the way out here. Condense it, condense it. There we go. I'll give that a dry. And when I've dried it, I'll pick up that dark colour again and I'll just gingerly go over that to sink this back in front of those reflections there. Or the glimmer, the shimmer. And that way it got it right in all those little nooks and crannies of the water there as well. And I'll just dab it out of there. Nice and artistic, great feeling handling the brushes, getting back and looking at your work and seeing what you're doing and having a lot of bloody fun at the same time. You, you really know when you're having fun with your art because when you want someone or yourself to whack that kettle on, it just puts you in the mood to really get involved with your art as well. Okay, this next bit's optional. I've got some glaze there and what colour's the water? Oh, I've pretty much gone and spoiled every colour. I might just grab the white, some of this white, and put in some of this glaze here, just very minimal. So hopefully it'll go on there opaque type. Yes, that's what I'm after. Not opaque, it'll be like translucent type of, because I don't want big bright lines on top of me water there. I want them subtle, very subtle. That'll do it and he'll blow it. Okay, so I've got the bit of glaze and a bit of that craft paint and I've just pulled it out onto this area here. 
and there's enough in that brush to create the little line. So I'm going to use my bullshit stick here and like come across here where the water's hitting, let's say there, a little bit. See how gingerly this is? And we can come across the tree. We can come across everything. I'll pull away in a minute just so you can see. I'll get a little bit up here. It's very gingerly. We're sitting reflections down. Can you, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you see what that's done? And then we'll get some over here. While I'm using my bullshit stick, it just allows things to stay level. Like that, look at that, coming out from here. Nice and level. Just little lines. Instead of using a knife, you know, you might have seen some knife work go on and it's very thick and gluggy and bold. This is just an easier way to make it look more professional. Now we'll, we'll sink the tree down, we'll do the same there. So look, just got it on the bullshit stick. Nice, different heights, but keeping them level. Scattered all over the place. Just like that. Get some in the blue there. Some there. Just enough to kind of put a surface on the water and sit that stuff down. That'll do. Keep going to the cows come home, can't you? Now I want to look in the monitor and see how that looks yeah that's not too bad all right I'll just sign this and after we sign it we'll whack a frame on it and this is an opportunity at the end of the video where you can go and check out the links in the description below and check out my merchandise so there's so many ways you can support my content and my channel here and be a member of my art group it's where you can post all your art and interact with a lot of other fantastic artists there. We'll put Steve's little foot paw print down there. There we go. Now we'll just whack a frame on it and see how that looks. Oh yeah. There we go. It's not too shabby, is it? We've got a beautiful violet sunset over a lake. Got a moon, got a cloud, got some glare in the water. Just remember, you can do that. I hope you enjoyed this exercise and like I said, if it's your first time here, share, like and subscribe. And just remember, if you like what I'm doing on my channel here, you make sure you tell your friends and family. But if you do not like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck and good on ya.